Certo. Então. Sharp. So today I'm going to be doing a head to toe examination on you. Welcome back to the clinic. Thank you. May I please have your first name, last name, and date of birth? Alessandra Biagioli, April 14th. 1996. All right. And is there anything uh, specific that brings you in today, Alessandra? Any concerns, any changes in your health? I've been having these heart palpitations and I'm not sure where they're coming from, so I just wanted to get it checked out. Heart palpitations. And when did this begin, Alessandra? I can a couple nights ago, honestly, and I tried to um, just try to move past it, but it's more kind of at nighttime when I'm trying to rest. Um, I can feel it when I'm just laying down on the couch and nothing even, I'm not even doing anything out of the, out of the normal before mm -hmm. it happens. And, you know, it's kind of like clockwork every time around like 10 p.m. I don't, I don't okay. know. It's strange. And how would you describe the sensation? Is it pulsating? Is it a sharp shooting kind it's of a palpitation? It's a mix of both. <laughs> like, mix of both. Yeah, it's a bit concerning. All right. And for how long do these symptoms last? Um, they go on for about 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah. On and off, or is it just continuous whole trot? Um, every minute, honestly, every minute. yeah. All right. Have you been taking any new medications recently? No, I have not. Vitamins, nothing over the counter? No. Okay. Sometimes I have a headache and I take ibuprofen, but it's not an everyday thing. Okay. And how often do the headaches come? Um... About once a week. Once a week, okay. They may be correlated with the heart palpitations. Do you follow a certain diet, maybe? Mm. No, I mean, no. I try to eat healthy. <laughs> Anything I should be aware of? Um, diabetes, cancers in the family, any recent surgeries you may have had? No. no. So you're pretty healthy otherwise? Yeah, I would say so. Any problems with your vision? Blurred vision, double vision? No. All right. Have you noticed anything that helps with the heart palpitations? Um, I've been drinking tea. Drinking tea, okay. Yeah, herbal tea. Okay, so you're taking some herbal tea. Oh, is that is that what would bring them on? Uh, herbal tea usually has a little bit of caffeine. Oh. Um, how is your caffeine intake? Do you drink a lot of caffeine during the day? Um, I kind of do. I take it. Um, I drink about four cups a day. Four cups of coffee. Okay. Yeah. Is that a lot? That's um. Well, depending on the concentration of the coffee, is it espresso type or is it um, American, a little bit more diluted? Um, it's like medium roast. Medium um, roast. So yeah. that can have a little bit of caffeine that may be, you know, over the threshold of what your body is comfortable with. Yeah. Which may trigger the heart palpitations. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you use any tobacco? Every once in a while. <laughs> okay, so that could contribute as well. Mm -hmm. So how often would you say you yeah, Just socially, work? like, but it's not, it's not that often. All right, let's go ahead and check your vital signs. And I'm going to start off by checking your levels of oxygenation in your blood. Can please have your index finger let that rest there and i'm going to check your temperature as well can i place this inside your mouth under your tongue okay good Okay. 
Okay. So 98.6. Okay, good, you do not have a fever. And about 85 to 90 bits per minute, 99% oxygenation, which is good, but pulse is a little bit elevated. Okay, so 85 to 90 bits per minute, normal temperature, and oxygenation, 99%. Okay. Going to go ahead and listen to your heart and lungs. Do you feel any palpitations right now? Not at the moment, no. Okay. Good. Right. Go ahead and just breathe normally. I'm looking for any murmurs, any arrhythmic sound. Heart sounds normal. I'm gonna go ahead and listen with the bell side as well for the more superficial sound. Good steady rhythm, not hyperdynamic. Okay, so not notice anything of concern with your heart. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Okay, I can just breathe normally now. Looking for any crackling, any hissing sound. Okay. So, lungs sound perfectly fine as well. I'm going to go ahead and check your blood pressure next. Okay. Okay. Do you have an arm preference or can we do the right one? The right one's fine. Okay, let's slide this right in there. Okay. Have you had your uh, blood pressure taken before? Um, it's been a while. Okay. But you know what to expect, right? There's going to oh. be just a slight pressure that you're going to feel on your arm. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you can please hold this up for me. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to put my stethoscope on. And you can just put your arm right here mm -hmm. okay let's do that one more time over 90 so blood pressure is a little bit elevated oh, should I be concerned um it's not yet in the danger zone 
but we do need to monitor this. I'm going to just set this aside. Take a couple of notes. Okay. Do the headaches come with the heart palpitations or do they come at different times? Um, I want to say they come at different times. Okay. Honestly, the heart palpitations do stand out. So if I have a headache, it's not as prominent as when I have my heart palpitations because they, they just take over me <laughs> when they're happening. Okay, so blood pressure 130 over 90, slightly elevated. Normal temperature. Heart and lungs sounded perfectly okay. I was able to hear S1 and S2. No extra sounds and the heart did not sound hyperdynamic or, you know, pul pulsating in any way. Mm. Okay. Have you been under intense emotions recently? Any changes to your lifestyle? Any pressure at work or in your relationships? No, not, not that I can say. Okay, so lifestyle has stayed the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it could be, you know, it could have an overactive thyroid. Um, you could definitely have a little bit more caffeine in your system. Okay. I'm going to check your thyroid. I'm going to check your, um, you know, whether you're anemic or not. Those could be physiological reasons. Okay. Um, there could also be just mental reasons, maybe stress that you're not aware of, maybe lack of sleep. Are you sleeping enough throughout the day? Um, try the night. <laughs> yeah. Um, I go to bed kind of late. Um, mm. okay. and, but I don't usually wake up in the middle of the night. I sleep through, but it does take me a bit to actually get to sleep. Mm. It could be from all the coffee I had during the day. <laughs> Definitely. The coffee intake is, um, seems to be the suspect number one right now. Yeah. <laughs> And in addition to the herbal tea that you mentioned that you drink sometimes, you know, the caffeine intake can add up. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and check your head. Okay. And uh, your eyes and your ears and do a little bit of a neurological assessment to rule out any physiological reasons. Okay. Um, and we'll take it from there. Sounds good. Yeah. Just set this aside. going to put on my gloves and start by palpating your head and um, doing a neurological assessment. your eyes and relax. I'm going to touch your head and feel for any lumps, any bumps, anything that may feel abnormal to the touch. And I want you to let me know if you feel any pain, any sudden pressure or any discomfort. going to press down on our mastoid bone process behind the ear. Any discomfort here? No. Okay. I 
not feeling any lumps, no bumps. The head is symmetric. Okay, I'm going to palpate your neck. And your lymph node, starting with the preauricular lymph nodes in the front of the ear. Okay, not enlarged. Checking the posterior auricular lymph nodes as well in the back of the ear. The occipital lymph node and going down the neck, checking the cervical lymph nodes, deep cervical, superficial cervical, not enlarged and mobile and posterior cervical okay. tonsillar submental Feel them mobile and not enlarged, and then submandibular. Okay, good. Okay. Checking the cervical lymph nodes as well above your clavicle, going down to the supraclavicular lymph nodes. Checking the pectoral lymph node. Okay. And over on this side. Mobile and not enlarged. Very good. Okay. Going to inspect your thyroid gland next. Checking for any distension, no visible enlargement. Just going to palpate it. Feeling for any nodules, any indentations on it. Go ahead and swallow for me. Moves up and down. And it is barely palpable. So that's good. And no visible signs of any enlargement. Okay. Going to go ahead and just visually inspect your, your skin. Checking for any obvious signs of any discoloration, any colors that should not be present. And 
as well as checking for any signs of edema, distension. normal. I'm going to check the inner side of your arms as well, which is sometimes some signs may hide. Okay, no abnormal moves. Just noting a couple of them, but they're very, very well defined. One color, not raised. No other moves hiding on the inner side of your arms. That's good. Okay. That's quite normal. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and focus on your sinuses and your face. Just going to palpate your frontal sinus okay I'm going to tap on it okay I'm going to check the phenoid sinus any pain here Okay, the sphenoid sinus, not enlarged, and pressing down on the maxillary sinus. Any pain here? No. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tap. Good. to go ahead and continue tapping on your face and I'm trying to trigger any neurological response that may be indicative of something physiologically wrong. So go ahead and relax. Checking for the integrity of your major bones. Good. And checking your reflexes. Good. Good. And okay. Leave your uh, weight in my arm. your arm loose. Good. All right. Okay, you can go ahead and open your eyes. I'm going to do a quick eye exam. So you mentioned no blurred vision or double vision, nothing 
no. bothering you with your eyes? No, nothing. Okay, do you wear contacts, glasses? Um, no, I have 20 20 vision. Okay, Great. At least I think so. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> if you can look in the distance for me, I'm just gonna flash a light into your eyes just for a second. Okay. Good. Checking for the pupil response. Good. Good. And now, if you can look at me. Good. Good. And now, if you can look in the distance one more time. Can you look up for me? Look up? Yes, look up. I'm going to just pull down on your eyes slightly. Check for any jaundice, which may be a sign of anemia. Good. And now look down for me. Good. Good. Perfect. So your eyes look perfectly good. <laughs> All right, let's do a quick vision test. So I have here a Snellen chart. I'm going to place it in front of you about an arm's length away. Can you read to me the top line here? O-L-C-F. Good. And now can you make out the bottom line? L-T-F-P-H. Perfect. And what color is this? Red. And this one? Green. Okay. Can you cover one eye for me? And try to read the bottom line from the last letter to the first one. L T F P H. Good. And I'll cover the other eye. And yeah, try to do the same. But now with the second to last line, starting from the last letter towards the front. G H D F C. Perfect. So we did 2020 vision. Okay. Next up, I'd like to take a look at the back of your eye and check your um, retina and um, macula and make sure that everything looks okay with your eyes. Okay. So I'm going to have to shine another light just for a brief second. Okay. Yeah, continue looking in the distance for me. Okay. Oh, right there, yes. Okay. Okay, so macula looks normal. No pop blood vessels. Can you look up for me? Look down. All right, left and right. Perfect and right. Good. Okay, so this eye looks normal. I'm going to go ahead and take a peek in your other eye as well. Concerns with your eyes. All right. Can you close your eyes for me and tell me which ear do you hear a sound with left or right? Left. Right. Both. Good. Any problems with your ears? Any ringing? Any abnormal sounds? No. No. Okay. Let's go ahead and check them out. Okay. I'm going to take my otoscope. And if you can move your head towards your left, just going to inspect the oracle of the ear. Okay. All right. No signs. 
signs of any infection or discharge, normal color of the oracle. Does this hurt? No. Painful? No? Does mm. this hurt? Mm. Good. Okay, I'm going to take a look inside and inspect your ear canal, middle ear and tympanic membrane. So here looks normal. I can see all the bony landmarks, normal tympanic membrane, well-defined margins, no signs of any cerebral fluid build up in the back of the ear. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at the other ear as well. Build up and into normal amount, normal color, no discharge, no signs of any infection in this year either. Bony landmarks are present, healthy tympanic membrane, pearly gray color. Okay, good, looks normal. Next up, I'm going to take a look at the back of your throat. And check for any infections. Do you have a sore throat right now? Um, I don't no. think so. Good. Can you open your mouth and say, ah, oh, for me? Ah, uh, good, I can spot the uvula. No signs of any infection, no inflammation. Good teeth. No buildup. Can you stick out your tongue for me? Normal color, a little bit whitish now. Are you drinking enough water throughout the day? Um. I'm trying to, but I can definitely drink more. Mm, definitely. So a lot of caffeine intake can lead to dehydration. And then if you don't drink enough water, then you can start getting symptoms that um, may be upsetting, such as heart palpitations, headaches. So definitely recommend paying attention to how much water you drink. Okay. Good. <laughs> can you push your tongue into your cheek for me? Good. Perfect. Over here as well. And can you stick out your tongue? Move it up and down for me. Good, and down. Try to point towards your right with it, towards your left. Perfect. Okay, very good. Okay, can you raise your eyebrows for me? Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm going to check the hair distribution of your eyebrows. Okay, can you raise just this eyebrow for me? Okay, good. That was a good attempt. Hair distribution looks normal. Going to check this under one as well. Can you raise just this one for me? Good. That's okay, not a lot of people can do that. Normal hair distribution. Good. I'm going to do a quick scalp exam as well. Take a look at the scalp.
looking for any redness, any discoloration. Excess dandruff, scaling. any sensations that are abnormal on the skin of your face, on your head? No, not that I've noticed. Okay. You have quite the thick hair with just a normal distribution. No signs of any abnormalities of the scalp. No dandruff whatsoever. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and check the dermatomes in your body. And I'm going to be touching you with just various objects. Okay. Um, do you feel this? Yes. That's tall. Do you feel this? Yes. That's sharp. So go ahead and keep your eyes closed okay. and just say if you feel sharp or dull. 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 Good. Dull. Good. Sharp. Sharp. Good. Dull. up I have here two different objects one of them is warm and the other one is cold and I want you to tell me if you feel warm or cold warm cold cold Warm. Cold. Cold. Warm. Warm. 
cold. Cold. Okay. Next up, I'm going to be spraying you with a little bit of water and I want you to say yes when you feel it. Okay. Yes. 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 All right, Alessandra. Next up, I'd like you to please put on this medical gown. And I want you to lay down face up so I can take a look at your abdomen and um, you know, auscultate and inspect it. And then I'm also going to take a look at your legs and your back. Okay. and comfy Alessandra mm -hmm. okay so I'm going to go ahead and unbutton your gown okay okay and expose your abdominal cavity I'm going to go ahead and visually inspect your abdomen mm -hmm. signs of any distension, any edema. Okay, not noting anything abnormal. How long have you had the belly button ring for? Um, about eight years. Okay. So that's looking good. No signs of infection or redness. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and ask you to the abdominal area. normally I'm hearing some sounds but they are normal just normal bow sounds indicative of I expected abdominal activity to check your aortic pulse at the aortic artery Sounds are normal, no swooshing, no excess gurgling. Good. I will begin by doing just a light palpation. Just 
checking for any lumps, any bumps. A little bit of a deeper palpation. of the stomach is normal. I'm going to check your liver over on the right side. Try to feel the tip of the liver. Take a deep breath in for me. And out. Okay, good. And I'm also going to check the size of the spleen. Over on the left side, under the rib cage. Good, not inflated. Just normal. Right next up, I'm going to attempt to feel the um, point of maximum impulse, which is where I can uh, palpate your cardiac pulse on the midclavicular line at the fifth intercostal space. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, we should be right there. Okay, no, good. Go ahead and flip face down. Okay, I'm going to take a look at your back next. And this is the state of your spine. Take a look at your lungs, your neck and your scalp. Point appears straight, no major deformities now then. Just going to feel your feel your back for any lumps, any bumps, anything abnormal. Lungs sound normal, no hissing, no swooshing sounds, no signs of any adventitious sounds. Okay. Right. That's good. 
God. I'm going to go ahead and perform light percussion. Good resonant sound. Good. Okay, we're going to do the same warm or cold test that we did on your face. So go ahead and tell me if you feel warm or cold. Cool. Okay. Do you feel this? Yes. And do you feel this? Do you feel like continuous touch? Yes. Okay, go ahead and tell me if at any moment you stop feeling this. Checking your scalp in the back as well.
Do you feel this? Yeah. Is that sharp? Yeah. Do you feel this? Yeah. Is that dull? It's sharp. Okay, that. Sharp. Okay. Is it sharp or dull? Dull. Gold sharper no. Mm. No. Okay. okay. Is it okay if I remove your socks? Mm -hmm. Visual inspection first. Checking for any signs of edema. Not feeling any. Taking a look at the plantar region of your Do a little bit of tapping on your foot and try to trigger any painful responses. Let me know if you feel any discomfort. Checking the calcaneus region. Any pain here? Mm -mm. Okay. Do you feel this? Mm -hmm. And this? Mm -hmm. Is it sharp or dull? Sharp. 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 Dull. Dull. Sharp, 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 sharp. Okay, can you wiggle your toes for me? Perfect, good. Okay, is this cold or warm? Warm. Good. Good. Warm. Good. Cold. 
Warm. Warm. Cold. 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 Good. Now is this cold or sharp? Sharp. Good. Cold. Wait. Good. Sharp. Good. Okay. I'm going to do the Babinski test. going to inspect in between your toes do you feel this? Mm -hmm. this? Mm -hmm. Good. this? Mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. okay. good now let's look Good and healthy, no signs of any nail clubbing or pitting. Excellent. You feel that? Mm -hmm. So I did a very thorough examination of your whole body. Took a look at your face, your head, your back, your abdomen, legs and feet. I was not able to find anything abnormal, but I do recommend that you lay off of the caffeine mm. and that should reduce your heart palpitations. Altogether or just less in a day? Try to not exceed one cup okay. in the morning or only for a little while so that we can see how you progress. Okay, gotcha. I can do that. <laughs> All right. And then we can check you out again in about two weeks, okay. two to three weeks, and then we can reassess. Sounds good. So Thank you. Keep a track of all of the times that you do feel heart palpitations happening. Mm -hmm. uh, note them down, time, date, what you're doing, how long they lasted for, mm -hmm. and then come back to me with all that data. Okay. Thank you. And I'm also going to recommend that you do an um, EKG okay. just so that we take a look at your heart a little bit more in depth to okay. make sure that everything is okay with the muscle itself. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to write you a note for that. Okay. Sounds good? Sounds great. All right. I'll see you back in two weeks. Okay. Thank you.